Let's talk about the Progressive People's Party. Well, they're calling for an amendment of the Constitution to block the President from appointing 30% of Assembly members. According to the first Vice Chairman of the PPP, William Dokbo, this move will allow Ghanaians elect District Assembly members of their choice. He was speaking at a news conference on the challenges that uh, they think may confront the upcoming referendum for the election of Metropolitan, Municipal and District Chief Executives um, here in Accra. All the recommendations by the party are the amendment of Article 242D, which allows government to appoint one third of the assembly members to allow for the election of all members of the district assembly and an upward review of the district assembly's common fund from the current 5% of the national revenue to 10%. First vice chairman of the party, William Dogbo, says the Ministry for Local Government and Rural Development must publicize the comprehensive roadmap with all the laws to be amended so that Ghanaians will have a clear understanding of government intentions. He further stated the failure of government to amend Article 243, Clause 3B will render the entire process useless. The fetish about amending 55.3 is just to make it possible for NDC, NPP, PPP to openly say we are sponsoring Mr. Parker Akon to be MCE of Cape Coast. That's all it does. It doesn't change anything. Now, the critical one is the appointment by the president. So if we amend 55, without amending 243, we have not changed anything. Now, even there, there is another clause that allows the president to fire the district chief executive. And we are contending that if the president is not given powers in the constitution to fire even the assembly man, he is not empowered to fire the member of parliament. Why should we or the constitution allow him to have the, fire, the, the power to fire the MMDCE elected by the people? I mean, that, 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 is, that is not on. It should not happen. So the PPP there, well, the Deputy National Chairman of the Commission on Civic Education in charge of operations, Samuel Asari Kwamwa, is urging a massive turnout for uh, the district-level election referendum slated for December 17, explaining the process is not to elect MMDCEs, but to amend Article 55, Clause 3 of the 1992 Constitution to pave way for the partisan election of the MMDCEs. Mr. Samuel Asari gave the explanation at the joint launch of the Upper West uh, uh, Citizens Education and Awareness Campaign on the district level elections and referendum in WA. The new patriotic party, MPP, and its manifesto for the 2016 general election pledged to ensure that metropolitan, municipal, and district chief executives are elected should they win the mandate of the people to take charge of the reins of the governance of the country. Upon assumption of office, various stakeholder meetings and consultations were held by the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development to make the pledge a reality. Upper West Regional Minister Dr. Hafiz Bin Sali stated that it is the conviction of the Akufo Ado administration that MMDCEs should be elected by the people and urge Ghanaians to vote massively in the referendum slated for December 17 to ensure that it becomes a reality. It is the conviction of the government of His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Kufuadu that MNDCs should be elected and it is a government policy. Deputy National Chairman of the National Commission on Civic Education in charge of operations, Samuel Asare Apomo, explained December 17 is not to elect MMDCs or vote on partisan basis. On December 17th, when we go to vote, we are not going to vote for M the, uh, MMDCEs. We are not going to elect MDCEs when we go to vote. 
We are also not going to vote on partisan basis. We are going to vote on non-partisan basis come December 17th. So when we go to vote on December 17th, we are either going to say that political parties come in and contest these level elections and participate in the processes, or no, we don't want you in. We want the constitution to remain as it is. That is what we are going to do at the referendum. However, Upper West Regional Director of the Electoral Commission, Ali Osman Adamu, conceded that district-level elections held over the years have never been without challenges. Low turnout is among the major challenges in the district-level elections. In the district-level elections, historically, the highest turnout of 59 percent was recorded in 1988-89 district-level elections. There has been apathy towards district-level elections most of the time, where citizens are not enthused to actively participate. With the referendum and the district level election slated for December 17, there is therefore the need for public education and awareness raising campaign to be launched. The National Commission on Civic Education, NCCE, is leading two other institutions to work in that regard. This has become necessary because Ghana has a long history of voter, low voter turnout at that level. The awareness raising campaign therefore is to whip up public interest in the elections. Secondly, there is the need for public sensitization on the amendment of the Article 55 Clause 3 of the Constitution, which is an entrenched provision requiring a referendum for its amendment. It is also to correct the misinformation and misrepresentations out there on the amendment. Reporting for the news, Rafik Salam. Wa